all throughout my history. Uh, Tony, I looked it up today. Uh, Chad came in on August the 6th of 2011, graduated on February the 2nd, 2012. And since the first day I met you, it's pretty easy to see you're a very special person. Uh, I know after Chad graduated, uh, you still kept coming every Sunday. And eventually when you opened up the transition house, uh, it was like you ran a bus service from Jonesboro to Charlotte, Arkansas every Sunday morning. Uh, just You gave the rides at, to the guys at the transition house that didn't have a ride. And Tony, that's just one example of the special things that you do. And Tony, I get blessed every Father's Day to be the one that gets to give you a knife. Uh, you've been a, I think you should have nine or 10 of them so far. You've been a father to literally hundreds of guys directly. And if you multiply that out using, for every man in here, 15 people get affected. So literally thousands of guys, you've made a difference in their life. I look forward to many more years of our friendship and I love you dearly and can't wait to see you next Sunday. Wow. <laughs> Didn't expect this when I came tonight. Uh, I so love coming to John 316. It brings me life, it brings me light. And it brings me happiness because I see faces that are where they need to be and how they need to be and going in the direction they need to be. And the other part of it is you have me do the same thing. So that's what we're all supposed to do is help our brothers. No matter what it is. And it, it took me a long time to figure that one out. I actually had to graduate from John 316 <laughs> with Chad. Actually, I'm still trying to graduate, but um, I, I love this place. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, there's nothing like it. When you leave here, don't forget to come back to visit and say hello and tell him how things are going because that's the most important thing, connection. And then when you get out from this place, remember what you learned here. You're supposed to help your brother. You're supposed to help people who need it. It's not for your benefit. It's because he wants us to do it. And that's what it's all about. Um, I, I, don't, I don't deserve this. I appreciate everything you've done. I, I really don't deserve it because I'm still trying to be a good guy, a good person every day because that, I, you just need to. And I hope I'm, I'm being an okay person. Uh, it took a long time for us in Arkansas Glass to understand we need to love each other. When I first got there, they didn't like anybody. <laughs> so I just decided, you know, I'm just, we're just going to change that. We're going to have some love here. And, and that's what happened. And, and it makes everything work so much better in this, in, at work and in this world. If we just love each other. I mean, that's just what it's all about. It's a, a brotherly love. And I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Thank you, Mr. Brian. And I, I love the cross. That's fantastic. Especially all the names on the back of it. Amen. And don't forget, love your brother. Thank you.